If you've ever tried adding music to your video, you've probably had the less than enjoyable experience of trying to make the music match the length of the video. Sometimes the songs are too long, sometimes the songs are too short, and sometimes you find yourself doing what I do a lot, which is trying to make the songs loop without sounding like they're looping. And so today I wanted to show you how to use the remix feature in Adobe Audition to remix your workflow and keep you from going loopy from too much looping. Whew, did it. Now this is not a new feature in Adobe Audition, but it's new to me. And let me tell you, after making hundreds and hundreds of videos, both for YouTube and not for YouTube, I really wish I would have figured this out sooner. So I wanted to share it with you because I just pass it along, you know, just pay it forward. I don't think Adobe Audition is the first or the only program that can do this, but I don't know of any other program that can do it as well. And what I'm talking about is the ability to extend or shorten a song to a specific time limit without making it sound like the song has been edited. And there are an almost unlimited number of situations where this could come in handy, but for me, where I've seen it be the most helpful is in background music for videos, not unlike this video right now and the background music in this video right now, and smaller things like podcast intros and outros. And it does work best with an instrumental song. If you try to do this with a song that has lyrics, it's gonna become very obvious very quickly that the song has been edited. And that's exactly what you don't want to have happen. So I'm gonna walk you through the process from scratch. And as usual, there will be chapter markers down at the bottom. So feel free to skip to the part that's most relevant to you. I'm gonna pop on my not AirPods Max. And I'm gonna jump into Epidemic Sound just because it has to be royalty free music for this video. If you know me, I use Artlist and Epidemic Sound both equally. And I like them both for different reasons. I made a whole video all about that here. But one of the big selling points for Epidemic, for me personally, is that they actually have an entire ska category, which I have not found another music service that offers that. So let me go through here and see if I can find a song. Not only do I like ska music, but it's also got a lot of instruments in it. Horns, drums, bass, guitar, all that stuff, which I think will be challenging for Adobe Audition to mix. So it'd be a good song to kind of test out this feature. Okay, I think I found a song that I like this one because it starts off pretty mellow. And then as it picks up later on, it increases, but in the middle, it's got sort of like this breakdown here. So there's different parts of the song, which I think will be interesting to see how Audition works with. So I'm just gonna drag this song into Adobe Audition. And the first thing you'll notice is that the running time is two minutes and 10 seconds. So let's create a hypothetical situation. Imagine I made a video. I want this sweet ska jam to be my background music, but my video is seven minutes and 15 seconds long. And I just want this song to go throughout the entire background, but it's only two minutes and 10 seconds. Now, instead of taking the song and trying to match it and loop it, we're gonna use the magic of Audition. So I'm gonna click on multi-track at the top, we'll create a new project, and then just drag the song into one of the multi-track tracks. And if I zoom out, now we can see the full length of the song. So over here in the effects rack on the side, there is a properties option. If I click that, there is also a remix option and I am going to click Enable Remix. And when I do that, Audition is going to analyze the song, but it's gonna analyze it in a way that I fully do not understand, but is pure magic, which is timing, repetition, melody, I don't know, intensity, basically everything that actually goes into a song. So that way when you remix it, it doesn't just loop the song. It actually kind of takes the song and tries to capture the it's weird to say this, but it tries to capture like the soul of the song and replicate it. So it's a machine capturing the soul of a, a anyway, it does a really good job of it. So what we're going to do right now is click on instead of two minutes and 12 seconds, I forget what I said, seven minutes and 16 seconds. Imagine that's how long we need. I'm going to click enter. And now my song goes all the way out to it's actually seven minutes and 20 seconds. So it went longer than I needed. And the reason for that is because when you do this, Audition won't speed up or slow down the song. So it's not gonna sound like weird, like like Inception stuff, but it's also not gonna sound like Chipmunk Christmas time because you sped it up too much. It's gonna keep the tempo right at the original speed of the song. 
Now what you might notice is there are these little zigzaggy choppy marks over here. These are points where Audition has chosen to cut and paste the song together. And what you might notice on this song specifically is they're not evenly placed. It did one, two, three, four, five, six of them throughout the song. And a couple of them are spread far apart and others are closer together. And you can play the playhead through there to hear what it sounds like when the song has been cut. So that was a cut. I definitely couldn't tell a difference at all. Let's look at the others. No difference there. What about this one? No difference there. We got these two that are close together. I'm kind of curious about this. No difference there. That's this kind of the breakdown part of the song. What about the second one? Nothing, and the last one. Nothing, I can't tell at all. Every once in a while when you do this, it might give kind of a weird like flangey sound where it's almost like a, like it's very not noticeable unless you're looking for it, but that's the only problem I've ever had with it. Another great thing about this, if you notice on this song, it kept the beginning and the ending intact. So it's the original intro, the original ending of the song. It only changed the middle, and now it's 7 minutes and 20 seconds long. Now, like I said, the reason that it made it 7 minutes and 20 seconds long instead of 7.16, like I asked, is because we didn't affect the speed at all. Now, if you want it to be an exact time limit, like I want this song to end at exactly 7 minutes and 16 seconds because you don't want to have to do the thing where you just fade out a song in the middle and it sort of sounds weird sometimes. So 7 minutes, 16 seconds, which again, just a totally random number. But now I click this button that says stretch to exact duration and remix it. Now my song is exactly 7 minutes and 16 seconds long. But what you might notice is up here it says 99%. And that is not because this song is not part of the billionaire ruling class. It's actually because it has been slowed down by 1% to fit that time limit. And I'm 99% sure you're not going to notice that 1% difference if we play the song. It really doesn't sound any different. And same thing as before, the cuts are pretty unnoticeable. And once you have the song the way that you want it and the time that you want it, you can do file, export, and then just multi-track mix down the entire session, save it as a WAV file, MP3, whatever you want, and then you can just throw it in your video editor and it's gonna match your video file perfectly. But like I said, you don't have to use this just to extend songs. You can use this to shorten songs, which can sometimes be sort of funny. So let's imagine I want to use this sweet ska jam as an intro song to a podcast, and maybe I need it to be 25 seconds long. So I'm going to type in 25 seconds. It ended up being 28 seconds. And let's see. So it made a couple cuts. Didn't notice the first cut. Didn't notice the second cut. And it kept the ending. That's actually like a really cool podcast intro. So if you need to cut things down really quickly, it works out really well. Of course, you can always push it too far. If I do something insane, like, I don't know, let's try 10 seconds and just see what that does. <laughs> I guess that works. Obviously, it's sounding a little crazy. And if I make it stretch the exact duration, now it had to speed it up to 74%. <laughs> so I broke it. And that's okay, because I would never take a two-minute song, force it to be 10 seconds long without affecting anything else. But you can see, if you're staying outside of the realm of complete insanity and you're doing things that are relatively reasonable with your remixes, you want to extend songs, you want to shorten them down to maybe the 20 to 30 second range. This works really well, and I love that it keeps the intro and the outro of the songs the way that they were originally intended. So you can see now something that used to take maybe 15 or 20 minutes when editing a video, looping the background song. Now I can do that in literally 15 or 20 seconds. That is how the background music that's been playing throughout this entire video 
was edited and it works incredibly well. I've really been enjoying diving into Adobe Audition more recently, mainly because of the podcast that I've been editing. I've had to learn a lot more about Audition. It's a super powerful program. I love it. I've actually made a couple other videos about little Audition tips and tricks that you might want to check out. You could actually audition those videos and see if you want to keep watching them.